Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the drag tool within the keypoint curve toolbox. The drag tool can be found under curves, keypoint toolbox, and you'll be able to see it right here. Now what this tool allows us to do is manipulate the keypoint curves without breaking their properties. So let me show you guys what I mean. So let's say you have a line like this, you have one point here and one point here. And let's say you have an arc like this over here. Let's say uh, a design was updated and let um, and you need to snap this point to over here. Now, if you are to use a stretch tool like this, you'll see that the property is gone. The key point curve, uh, the key point uh, key point curve property is done, and I cannot manipulate any of the attributes. So this is when the drag tool comes in. So let's say I have a, well, not exactly the same, but let's say I have an arc here. If I use a drag tool, oops, actually, let me just delete the guidelines over here. So with the drag tool, all you have to do is click on the blue square right here, like this, on one of the key points, and all you have to do is snap it using control, CV snap, and you'll be able to manipulate it right here. And you'll see that the uh, attributes, in which case you can adjust the arc, the radius, and the angle is still over here. It still exists and you can change it. So let's say you want the radius to be specific, let's say 500 mils, you can do that. Of course, because you use a drag tool, the radius is uh, going to change a little bit, but you can still manipulate it. It's much better than using stretch because it still retains the properties, so it's a lot better uh, in many of the aspects. So um, actually, let me just show you guys a few more things. So what you can do, uh, you can also use a drag tool to change the property like this. So in, in this case, you can either use the scale or if you want a more, uh, or you can just use the prop, uh, information window to, if you want the exact radius. But let's say you want to freeform this a little bit. You can use scale, but you can use, uh, you can also use a drag in order to manipulate the, the circle over here. Uh, one of the cool things that you can do is you can also combine a break over here and the drag tool. So let's say you, uh, made into made a circle into two halves and you can just use a drag tool like this to adjust the curves over here like this and you can it's a lot more free form so it allows you to actually do a lot of uh, shape and manipulation so let's say you have uh, you break the half circle here you can use a drag tool like this and you can just play with the shape as much as you want. And like that. So it just gives you a lot, a lot more freedom. And because it is a key point curve, you can still adjust all the radius values and, uh, uh, and the angle or the sweep. So if you want this to go in a different direction, you can do R complement. And you can also, now, if you do make this into an exact radius, however, it is going to be a little bit off, but you guys get the idea. Okay, so that is the drag tool within the key point curve toolbox. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.